Welcome to the Precision Measurement Tools tutorial. This video will give you basic instructions on how to use the dial caliper, the vernier caliper, as well as the micrometer. The first precision measurement tool to be analyzed is the dial calipers. This image shows the basic components of the dial caliper and how it will be used. These calipers are able to measure external, internal, and depth. The jaws open by sliding the vehicle holding the dial down the bar. Before any measurement can take place, the jaws must be cleaned. After they are cleaned, the calibration knob must be loosened on the bottom of the dial. With the jaws fully closed, adjust the dial to show zero before retightening the knob. For external measurement, the outside measuring jaws should be opened enough to enable them to surround the desired part to be measured and then tightened against it, twisting the fine adjusting roll. Once the jaws are firmly against the part, it is now time to analyze the measurement. First, the marks to the left of the dial must be counted to find the larger measurement. Five marks are visible, giving the initial measurement five hundred thousandths of an inch. The dial indicator shows a measurement of 80 thousandths of an inch, which will be added to the initial measurement of 500 thousandths for a final measurement of 580 thousandths of an inch. For internal measurement, the inside measuring jaws should remain closed until they are within the area to be measured. The 200 thousandths mark is clearly visible giving an initial measurement of 200 thousandths of an inch, which will then be added to the dial indicated 10 thousandths which gives us a final measurement of 210 thousandths of an inch. For measuring depth, extend the depth rod farther than the depth of the part being measured and lower the end of the bar down to the upper point area. The scale bar shows the measurement is past one inch but does not show any additional marks. The dial indicates a measurement of 83 thousandths of an inch, and when added to the initial measurement, the final number is 1 inch and 83 thousandths. The second precision measurement tool is the vernier calipers. This tool is similar to the dial calipers in terms of how to use it, except the dial indicator has been replaced by the vernier scale. Before taking any measurements, ensure the jaws are wiped clean. Like the dial calipers, tighten the jaws against the part to be measured. Once the jaws are firmly against the part, it is now time to analyze the measurement. On the upper left side of the vernier scale, the zero mark is to be lined up with the bar scale. This shows initially a measurement of 500 thousandths, along with three marks which account for 25 thousandths each, making the initial measurement 575 thousandths of an inch. Once this is found, determine which division line on the vernier scale best lines up with the division on the bar scale. This de determines how many thousandths of an inch will be added to the initial measurement. Here the five thousandths mark lines up the best and when added to the initial measurement gives a final measurement of 580 thousandths of an inch. For internal measurements, Using the vernier caliper, just like the dial calipers, tighten the inside jaw against the inner walls of the desired part. The zero mark on the upper left portion of the vernier scale lines up with the 200 thousandths of an inch mark of the bar scale and with no 25 thousandths mark to be added in. Once this is found, determine which division line on the vernier scale best lines up with the division line on the bar scale, which in this case is ten thousandths of an inch. When these measurements are added together, the final measurement is two hundred and ten thousandths of an inch. The final precision measurement tool in this video is the micrometer. This image shows the basic components of the micrometer. Micrometers can only measure external parts and before doing so, the contact points must be cleaned in order to ensure a correct measurement. To begin, twist the thimble in order to create a gap between the spindle and anvil, then twist the thimble back towards the part until the spindle makes contact. 
Turn the lock nut to ensure the measurement does not move. Over tightening will cause damage to the micrometers. First, the 100,000 marks are to be added, here showing 500 thousandths of an inch. There are three 25 thousandths marks visible to be added to the initial 500,000. Next, take the reading from the thimble. Note the line that most clearly aligns with the scale used previously. This is the thousandths mark, here shown to be seven thousandths of an inch, which will be added to the initial measurement, giving the measurement 582 thousandths of an inch. This micrometer reads up to ten thousandths of an inch, so the micrometer is flipped over and the extra set of lines on the sleeve are read to determine which marks line up best. Here shown to be seven ten thousandths of an inch, which will be added to the 582 thousandths of an inch to get a final measurement of 0.5827. This concludes the Precision Measurement Tools tutorial.